some of them are not. Uh, in fact, most of them are not. Okay, so. There we go. We hit play. We've got our new game template here. You can select a race, select the class. You can randomize this if you want. Hit finalize. You kind of uh, start right here. Uh, apparently there's a bunch of errors because I accidentally copied a bunch of stuff that I shouldn't have copied. Um, if you hit C, you get our character sheet, which is all jacked up right now. These are actually supposed to be displaying all of your points left, points spent, stuff like that. You can kill your character. Woo, you're dead, Jim. Alright, we have a May freeze gun from Overwatch, but uh, I don't know if it's actually still working. It technically works, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we can go find out. So over here we have uh, some blueprint communication stuff that, because of the copying, is no longer working. Uh, this actually is hiding a big boss guy. Yeah, so. Let me get rid of some of these excess things. There's only supposed to be one camera. This, unnecessary. There we go. So, that's all back to normal. Okay, that's still not working, but so we actually have it set up to where this door will close and that door will open and then this giant boss guy will walk out and be like, Arr, I'm a boss guy. And that's pretty much it. He doesn't actually do anything. Uh, he's just just a generic boss guy. Um, that's most of what's in here. There's a save and load system uh, that was pretty easy to, actually easier than I thought to implement. Uh, as you can see, you can actually load individual data. Uh, if you want to save it, you can press this, hit this, save, and then let's say I move over here and we go press this, load. Okay, it freaked out on me, but yeah. So that's that's about it. I mean, we haven't done much in this project in a long time, uh, primarily due to the month and a half of every time I tried to do the stream it crashed on me and all kinds of joyous crap uh, was not very pleased with me but we eventually got that fixed so uh, yeah so anyways let me let's try something here Thinking. Physics box. Show 3D widget. We're actually going to disable this for now. Disable this. I just want to see if I could do something here. Yes. Okay. So, what I think I can do here, let's say preview previous array. So, 
one of the things I really like about uh, the Batman Arkham Knight games is the reconstruct the scene of the crime kind of things that they do where you have to sit there and you can watch things play, uh, watch them in forward and reverse and all that stuff, right? So, now, when it runs through this, let's have... the cube and it, instead of so instead of changing the array every time it should oh hey hi how's it going huh now it's all screwy So, I just want to try this last thing. Um, probably going to have to get off here in a moment because I may be heading out at 8 o'clock uh, to go take care of some personal business. But, we can at least see if this works in the meantime. Okay. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. It is at least working. It may not be the correct uh, values, but it is working. So. <laughs> So yeah, that's that. That's a that is now a thing that exists and we can play with and make something interesting out of it. Um, I have a couple ideas for how to use that in a in a games context outside of just Prince of Persia kind of thing. I was thinking, um, wouldn't it be interesting if there was a puzzle game where um, you have a kind of a forward and a reverse kind of thing where the forward uh, we would have to figure out how to do the forward exactly. Uh, maybe it could be just a straight line, boom, 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 where you would be, or a teleport, and then the backwards could be something similar to this. And if you interact with certain objects, um, it either takes them forward in their uh, in their progress or back, and depending on which you choose, you can do different things. 
uh, and you have to like mess with the with time to be able to get things to work. If that makes sense, I don't know. Just a just a thought, a possibility, something that we could play with in the future. I also uh, and Katatis knows about this. I have a plan for a game idea that I had, and I want to prototype it soon. But I kind of want to get through my RPG template before I actually get to it. Um, and it's going to be entertaining. Hopefully, it'll probably be terrible and never will get off the ground. But at least it'll be an entertaining concept to try. Um, it's kind of like Surgeon Simulator or uh, Goat Simulator or I Am Bread in a sense. And I'm hoping it goes out well, but I don't want to say I, I don't want to say more than that yet until I know if I'm even going to be able to do it or what all it's going to require. Um, anyways. We're going to go ahead and call it here for the night. Unless anyone has uh, questions or anything like that, I'll be happy to answer. Uh, otherwise, we will go ahead and call it here so that I can go take care of what I need to take care of. And I'll give it another 30 seconds or so. Uh, all right, Iertek, thank you so much for coming out. Always, always good to see you, sir, and you are always welcome. Uh, it is very much a happy occasion when I get to see people that I know coming out to the stream. Um, but yeah, so you guys have a... Guys and gals uh, don't want to be prejudicial. You, you all have a wonderful evening. I am absolutely ecstatic that we can start doing this again. Uh, yeah, we're going to continue playing. I, I think this was... <sighs> Excuse me. A very fun little aside from what I had originally planned today. This kind of came up and I went, I'm doing that. Uh, <laughs> all right. You all have a wonderful evening. And I will see you again on Friday.